Hey everyone, in this video let's see how we can sum values in Excel based on the color of a given cell. So I have created a custom function in VBA and if I call that the function name is sum by color and in the first argument I need to provide the cell I want to identify in the lookup array and in the second argument I need to provide the lookup array. So what this function will actually do is it will find the color of the first cell which is green and then it will check in the lookup array that if any other cell has the same color or not and in case if there are multiple cells with the same color it will sum the value that is on the one side on the right hand side of the brand column which is sales and if i close this and i need to make sure that my range reference is absolute so if i press f4 and let's close the parentheses and if i drag this formula down you can see that for contoso i get 30 because there are two values for contoso which are 10 and 20 for Fabricam, I get 5 and 5 which makes 10 and for the Litware, I can get I get 8 and 1 which makes it 9. So let's see how we can create that function in VBA and for that what we need to do is go to the developer tab and go to the visual basic and then you need to insert a new module. Make sure that you do not, are not inserting the class module which is a different thing. Just insert a new module and write function sum by color. You can name it whatever you want. And after opening the parentheses, we need to provide one argument, which is going to be lookup cell. And the data type of it will be of a range object. Then I need to create another argument or parameter, which will act as the lookup array. And this will also be of the range data type. And this function is going to return a value, which will be of a numerical data type. And I'm going to use the long. You can use integer as well, but it will be better if you use long in case if the the sum of those values is greater than 32,000. So in that case, the long data type will be useful for that. And let's press enter and that then it will automatically end and insert the end function keyword. Now we need to create two variables. So first one will be dim cell as range and another one will be dim result as long. So cell variable will be used to iterate over the lookup array range and result will actually hold the sales amount for each lookup cell or you can say all those cells that will have the same color as of the lookup cell. Now what we can do is create a loop that will iterate over the lookup array and for that I'm going to write for each loop. So I can say for each cell in lookup array let's use autocomplete to complete the code and let's write next cell next what we need to do is we need to check in if each cell that we're currently iterating has the same color as of lookup cell or not and for that we can use an if statement so i can write if cell dot interior dot color is equal to lookup cell dot interior dot color and then I want to do something and I can write and if to close my if statement. So if that is true, what I want to do is assign the value of result equal to cell dot offset zero. I do not want to move downwards towards the row. I just want to move one side to one right hand towards the right hand side of the brand column. So I can use one in the column offset and I need to write value. So each time the cell iterates over the lookup array it will identify if the interior cell dot interior color is equal to the lookup cell interior color and if that is true it is going to store the value of that sales amount which is towards the one towards the right of that brand column but this result will get overwritten every time we find a matching color so what we need to do is we need to store the value of result that it currently holds so I can write result plus. So let's say it finds, let's me, let me minimize it. So let's say we are at Contoso and then the, then the for each loop is iterating and then it reaches Contoso at the row six. Then what it will do is it will try to write overwrite result is equal to 20, but we do not want that. We want to still hold the value of the Contoso, which is 10. So that's why I've used result plus cell dot offset zero comma one dot value. So for each time it is iterating, it will remember the value that it previously had stored. 
now what we can do is simply just maximize it and towards the end what we need to do is sum by color is equal to result since a function is intended to re return some value that's why we need to assign the value of result to sum by color and now what we can do is go back to excel and try to see if that is generating the correct result or not so let me just remove everything from here and what i can do is write sum by color first of all i actually have duplicated code here so i can remove that module for now and if i now write sum by color and in the first argument i need to provide the cell of which in whose interior color actually i want to look for and in the second argument i need to provide the lookup array just make sure that the cell and row and the column reference is absolute and if i drag that formula downwards you can see that we get the correct result for contoso it sums these two values for fabricam it sums these two values and for the litware it is summing 8 plus 1 which becomes 9 so that was all for this video and i hope you have liked this video and i will see you in the next one until then have a great day